Coral, ¿cómo está? Me dijeron que le gusta que es que le digan tú. train as an artist. So the kitchen has been a place for me where I can be creative and challenge myself in ways that I didn't know that I could. Because I'm a mother, I think that dictates a lot of the decisions that I make in the restaurant as well. Locally. I can't say it now! <laughs> My name is Angela Salamanca and I am from Colombia. I own and operate Central Mexican Restaurant in downtown Rao. Mexican cuisine, uh, there are a lot of base ingredients that are not local because we, you know, it's, an, it's a cuisine that is not based in this area. So I think for us that, that's the challenge. I feel like, you know, you, you look at your menu and you see what you can do. We sell a lot of steak in this restaurant. So being able to find a local provider where we can buy some of our meat has been really, really good. We do uh, a local eggs uh, and then some produce. The reason why I want to support local farmers, it's primarily because I'm a mother. For me, it's important to give my girls an example of what it means to be sustainable in the best way that we can be. I mean, I think there's been a lot of influential people in my life that have made me uh, kind of fear towards that. My grandfather just passed away and I just kind of been reflecting on the influences that he had on my life and a lot of the things that I have learned about food and just, you know, how to be a, a good role model in the community that you are. It, it, was, it started with him many, many, many years ago. I, I think that Raleigh, it's, a, it's an incredible example of people in our industry really, really supporting the local farm scene. What I have noticed is that uh, the chefs are telling their own stories and they're, and they're training their staff to tell the stories of the sources of the food um, and why they selected certain products and how they source these products locally. As the visitor learns the story of where his food is coming from, then he can also go out uh, if he chooses to and actually meet the farmer as well and do some touring on site. My name is Daniel Dayton. I'm, uh, I have a farm here, Old Mulberney Farm in Raleigh, North Carolina. One of the tourism experiences I work offer here at the farm is a work experience. I really hope when people come out to the farm, they can see a working farm, get first-hand experience with that. People come here for the first time, they're always you know, taken aback with how much hand labor we do here. Aside from having some folks out for people for tourism, we bring our food in to the city, delivering twice a week to a CSA and restaurants. I really enjoy the cyclical nature of farming. So starting from seed, coming all the way to harvestable products and feeding people. When people come out here and they're excited about what's going on, it rejuvenates me and makes me appreciate what I'm doing. I think the fork to farmer movement is a creative idea and I think it's an important one. 